your your bear market of old is not the bear market of today. Um, well, this bear market is worse because it's coupled with an economic recession. Literally, <laughs> almost everything else has been absolutely liquidated. But so when that bull run does hit, that's why people say the accumulation period. These are things are on fire sale. If you guys watched that last Fed meeting, pain and more pain, twenty percent correction. You need pain. to you need to start and investing in some projects that uh, have some quality team. I mean, ever since Saron just started blabbing, blabbing, blabbing about that. All right, you missed like five car payments. How much you gonna hold until you gotta liquidate for to pay? Never invest more cargo. than you can afford. That same fifty-eight it could be worth a hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars just alone. We had a highly spirited debate, as you can tell, about the bear market and whether or not we should be investing in CNFTs, Cardano NFTs, or just totally liquidating it. And we had opposing positions on different viewpoints on each side. We had someone taking a look at the macroeconomic environment in the crypto bandit. We had a Cardano NFT Maxi in Freedom 35's own T-O-M-M-Y Tommy. We had, we had the crypto warden Ethan saying, I'm still investing. And we had Bourbon, the creator of Adenauts, in the discussion as well, giving us a viewpoint from a creator's perspective. This segment saw the highest engagement from the chat and I was even hearing from more people after it posted about how well this segment was done. And this is a great opportunity for you to hear out the full discussion and all the nuances into two opposing sides on whether or not you should be investing in the CNFT market in this bear market. I think it's gonna give you a lot of perspective so that you can make your own financial decisions. Check the video out. Where do you guys see the market for CNFTs specifically in this downturn okay should we be buying anyway is this the thing that we should be talking about how should we as investors be thinking um or you know, or what are you guys thinking one, you know right? like there's a market here is it going down is it up and what about cnfts go ahead free reign go ahead saran lead us off you know <laughs> Bro, you got some. let me just get the con the the complete opposite opinion out the gate it's all going to crap I literally have like CNFTs have been the farthest thing off my radar in terms of like looking at new projects. I still have my eight and knots, hey. but literally <laughs> almost everything else has been absolutely liquidated. I hold a duck because it's 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 uh wardens I'm gonna and get it back. always just I'll get it back. in my wallet, but I'm thinking about selling <laughs> that thing too. So <laughs> I won it off him on a bet. I honestly think that like I mean, yeah, y'all, if you guys watched that last Fed meeting, this man is talking about pain and more pain, 20% correction in the housing market, a, a target of 4% interest. You think NFTs is going to make it? Yo, people got more. There's people out there that are more strapped for cash than I would imagine like anyone on this stream would be. And they hold NFTs and they will be liquidating. As they see the price of ADA dropping down, they will liquidate because I also think Bitcoin is going to see a bottom that we have not seen yet. And that's just me right there. I, I don't know what whoever wants to go after that. You can say whatever you want. I, but I should think... you be holding NFTs? Do I think like with like currently right now, like that mint's coming out. Yeah, you got a potential of like a two, three X. But should you be like playing this like game of like flippity flipping NFTs right now? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Like people are saying accumulation period. Yo, or who, like, what's that, Renum? Like, are right, you going to accumulate? But can you look at something that's, like, one-tenth of what it used to be worth? Like, can, how long can you look at that in your wallet and not want to sell it? Like, let's be realistic. How about, okay. Simon, you need team. to you need to start investing in some projects that uh, have some quality teams. Uh, I literally right don't believe instead. in any project that has the word CNFT behind it in terms of quality team. Oh, wait, in we terms can drop the C. We'll... Uh, and I'm sorry, you got to see out there, I voice Cardano like, NFTs, I huh? I literally, I only believe in ADA. I believe in ADA. Hey, but if you believe in ADA, key, then you believe in accumulating in ADA. And getting through this recession, I don't believe in none of that. Hell no, nah. no. Well, All right, Tommy, I, let me. I let think me you're leaving. <laughs> I think you're leaving an opportunity on the table then, if you're there to accumulate ADA, because as we've seen this week, I mean, if you've been. Any any, any kind of conviction. No, no, no. Uh, I did not say I want to accumulate ADA. I said I believe in ADA. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. not accumulating ADA. <laughs> let let I, I, my speak his piece here. So, so what I'm saying to you is, there's projects out there that have consistently been building. 
Uh, Ada Knotts is, uh, or not Ada Knotts, but um, ooh, that's another project. But another one that was big this week was Ape Society. Um, Ape Society is um, went from like a fourteen or like an eighteen hundred floor up to about three thousand. They flipped the space buds over there as far as floor price goes. Um, as they continue to build, you've got projects like Clay Nation that are continuing to partner up with big players outside of just the Cardano ecosystem uh, cross chain that will be continuing to build. So when that bull run does hit, that's why people say the accumulation period, these are things are on fire sales uh, for the, the big projects inside the space, the ones that are continuing to grow. So I think if you're looking from a strictly pre uh, period of just, I want to flip and get into more ADA long term, why would you not take advantage of the opportunities right here to c continue and stack and increase your ADA? Um, so, so I hear what you're saying as far as the market goes. Am I dumping all my cash and my dollar cost average in, in these? No. Um, but is there opportunity out there to invest in some good projects while the market's tough? Absolutely. Um, and I think that you you should take advantage of that opportunity and watch people like Aaron out here, um, Chronic and those guys, our channel, a lot of these different players inside the space um, that are talking about these things in the spaces and learn a little bit. So I, I, would, I would argue uh, to your point that NFTs are, are just going nowhere. Got it. Yeah, Bourbon, you, uh, speak your piece here. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a mixture of both. I think definitely people are, are definitely liquidating, trying to get out as quickly as possible because, you know, you realize NFTs are not really Ill illiquid. Um, so people are trying, you know, exactly like the pain's coming. So people, are, you know, if they can get out of NFTs, they'll try to get out. And so I definitely think people are probably putting their conviction in, into one or two communities that they really want to go all in on. Um, where they can really enjoy themselves and not, you know, over diversify on, on in the NFTs. Essentially, um, I think people are probably selling NFTs and, and dropping them into, you know, the you know the bigger plays. Um, and then for the new projects coming out, it's 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 super difficult, you know, you, to you know, we have less volume, less people on the blockchain, less transactions. It's it's tremendously hard to be able to to gain that community and gain that trust. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting, you know, you know. But at the end of the day, it could easily a, a really big team from another blockchain could come in and, and really spice some things up. So um, definitely, I think we might be in a little little hurt, a world for her. Um, but I definitely think you know the strong teams will survive. Yeah, Warden, you want to you you got something to say to the I just top? think the bottom is so far, and I could just hang out and just chill on freaking regular like stable and just wait and then just scoop up everything. So like, my thing is like. And will I be tried again to this mint that's happening that Tommy just told us about? Oh, probably. I mean, I like the hype. I like I, minting is fun, but like, am I like actively like trying to like like how Tal is like, yeah, this thing dropped to this. I bought like thirty of them. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Not hell no. Yeah. Hell no. He bought. I'll right, right. never forget it. He bought thirty of them like right before the Fed meeting or whatever that was. I'm like, bro, no, no. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, uh, J Crypto Minded is dropping in some real big knowledge, but I want to get some crypto warden, then I'll get to you, J Crypto Minded. Uh, warden, you got anything to say to this topic of bottoming in and buying NFTs now? I have a lot to say on this topic. I mean, ever since Saron just started blabbing, blabbing, blabbing about that, I've just been writing up points. I've been ready to go. So blabbing. let's get to it, baby. Let, let's get to it. On the other side of Saron's point, I'm going to go on the more positive side. Just this week alone, we've had three separate projects go on um, beautiful runs. I mean, Ape Society had a 1K run. Uh, Junkies has gone up to 100 ADA. Happy Hoppers has gone up to almost 100 ADA as well. I mean, these projects were around 30 to 40 ADA. So, I mean, they've, they've just been building for their own little um, they're not, separate months on themselves. They're, they're only gaining ADA because okay. people are trying to get their dollar equivalent value because the price yeah. of ADA is down. That's the thing about the CNMT market. It the the it's gaining It grew in ADA, but the cost of the NFT is still the same. Let, let, I mean, let, 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 by the way, up. right now, it, it's just helping you gain liquidity. I'm dollar values. I, I agree with you, and that, that's one of my points as well. I mean, it, it's... The overall, what? the overall money amount has gone down. Okay, and, and, and that grown. might be true. That, so that might be if true. If you're consolidating ADA, then go ahead. Uh -huh. I'm consolidating not none of it. Hold on, hold I on. Mean, I'm, I'm about to take you off, Saran. Hold on. Let, let the warden <laughs> finish his thoughts here. Uh, I mean, it, it's really just right now... All, all five of us, that's really what we're making money on right now, especially during this freaking um, bear market. I mean, we're all, no one's really making money off coins unless you're getting into one of these um, micro cap coins where you're, you're hitting a big run. I mean, it, we're all just making money off these little runs, off these little hype runs. Hey, DJ. Like, this, no, this big point, I mean, I, I just speak on it myself, especially since I'm one of, I'm probably the newest investor in this little panel right now. And it, it's very helpful to gain liquidity, especially as a new investor to someone who has never had any type of money before. 
any type of money into crypto, it has really helped me to be able to build liquidity to where I'm able to expand into all these different things. And like I you said, it. I mean, 50, my fault, uh, 58 right now is only worth $25. But I mean, when we're expecting this bull run, that same 58 could be worth 100 to $150 just alone. So, I mean, I understand what you're saying, where ADA is down right now to where that dollar cost is. But I mean, holding that same ADA later for a bull run, you'll end up making money. Uh, I, I Yo, was going to argue that. A, we need to have a live stream like right after the Lit. midterms when gas Lit. starts skyrocketing back up and everybody's crapping their pants and people just I, sell it. <laughs> just I, got, sell I got a question. I got a question for people over here because I see people in there. You don't buy groceries with uh, – I buy my groceries in USD. Uh, are you guys really taking – profits out and liquidating your your uh your coins right now for cash because i feel like that's one of the worst things to be doing right now in this market that's what I'm especially not right now like, so but, a, but what i'm saying to you is why would you do that in that and that this i'm accumulating ada right what crossfish is saying long term like i'm not it, could you imagine doing so, that with your your bitcoin and stuff in the bear market hey guys all the stuff that i've accumulated over the last, last few years i'm gonna liquidate it right now so i can buy it at a higher price when the things go up later down the line that makes no sense at all. Why would you do that? That make the way you're saying Bro, right now doesn't make any you. sense. We're, we on this thing, I assume, are in a position where we can hold and like. If I wanted to hold ADA and all this NFTs, I could. It would be no problem. But a lot of people are not in that position. Even Jay Bros over here yelling, "Hold! All right, you missed like five car payments. How much you gonna hold until you gotta liquidate for to never pay invest more partner. than you can afford to lose." Yep. But yep. Who, Tommy hit it right on yeah, the head. Okay, Tommy, you're saying that, but like realistically people how are irresponsible people that? <laughs> realistically yeah. people are irresponsible yeah bro that's like total I mean, crappy. that's like legit us as people we are literally irresponsible literally so, yeah. it's human nature I <laughs> literally it's human nature Santa, no, it's typically even if those people make those kind of gains they're going to be right back situation if they're still irresponsible so, so like, uh, I, are, in, my, like, in my mind you're trying to educate and help people out um you're telling them to hold because later down the line they will have more money if you liquidate now and try to get out to make those payments you're going to be kicking yourself later down the line it's like oh that temporary little thing that i had um i missed out on a huge opportunity all right guys all right before we get back to uh we'll let you guys let, let you guys tear each other up I'm, I'm liking this conversation honestly everything is is fair in the lines then around here so it's good but there were some really good points to be made on both sides in the chat here i just want to read a few oh, doesn't of have four hundred dollars a bank and the average oh, car note right now on, is on, on, on. And <laughs> we, we, we heard have you, bro. a separate stream for this <laughs> yep, we, heard you yep. both. we heard you both bro we, we heard you both here let's get to the chat i want to shine because the chat is the real uh stars of this uh, i think stream here we're in the early days of the um bear market where cnfts are so low priced charles is loving cnfts now and we have great teams time for accumulation of great projects and on the other side of it uh, where was that chat? Uh, yeah, here's Jay Crypto Minded. Uh, he said we have 30% to dump minimum. And so, and would you consider a 40 to 60% uh, a, another run? Uh, Crawfish says this: Who gives an uh, f about the dollar value? You say you believe in ADA in your in your space accumulate ADA. If you did this with Bitcoin in 2010, you only care about the dollars, and you're going to be wrecked. So there's a lot of on um, happening on both sides. I like to. Um, take a stab at kind of like like lining out the positions here just for anyone in the chat if you're listening on this and you're like should i buy ada should i buy anything here are the two positions and in, in my understanding of this you've got one position this and this is current today market prices you got one con position where we are september 27th a lot of people are thinking that the market is going to get worse from here okay the market's going to get worse from here J Crypto Mind is throwing out 60%, 30% minimum, 60%. I think that 50% losses across the board is on the table, meaning your ADA at 50 cents right now, I don't know what it's at, but about 50, could be worth 25 cents. So it would be prudent if you think that it's going to drop 50% to sell all, to liquidate, and to buy in at half the price because a 50% gain is a huge gain. Okay, that's called a short. You're just saying right? it nicer. I didn't add the extra. Understood. Fluff. Understood. But I want, I want people to understand the method methodology of understanding trading and, and the markets uh, now on tommy and ethan's side they're saying that the bottom is close to being in they're not saying the bottom's in what hear what they're saying it's these are good prices compared to where it could be to then accumulate yes it could go down longer it could could go down further but it's not comparable the the drop to what it could be in the future and they don't care about that and and those are the two camps i think is a proper 
uh, efficient way to say this is that, hey, you know what? The drop is is 50% and I'm going to take that. I'm gonna, I, I think because of headwinds, headwinds so, meaning like forces that will force those prices and stocks down and the markets down. You've got the war yet to be resolved. You've got inflation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hype, so like, all that stuff. But uh, the people in the chat and like in the crypto space are on like a micro and macro economics level. They're li they literally contain everything. If you read the chat, a lot of people are like only containing everything into crypto and not looking at like the world around them. And I think that's where people get like this unrealistic view of like, like this is the bottom, the FOMO, da, 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 da. Bro, they're literally telling you to your face that they're like not done raising inflation. He's literally telling you it's like houses are going to be deflating like 20%. He's literally, they're literally telling you the housing market is going to get like, the car market is going to get like strict regulations and they're going to stop giving loans to subprime people. Like when stuff like that happens, who, mo I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is a different. Is Understand different. from from the from the collector's point right now is that hey, it could it, it will. I don't think no one would. I don't think Tommy and Warden. I, I don't think would say that they're not. They, they expect this is the bottom. I think that they can expect lower prices. Right? Am, am I correct in kind of saying that? Like assuming That's, that? Like I, I, to me, I mean, it, it's not like a pretty picture. It's going to be a tough thing. Like any new projects entering in, into the space that are minting right now have a very big, like tough road ahead of them because if their mint isn't hyped enough, uh, if they don't give the utility that people want, like people move on in the space and with the price of ADA being what it is right now, they have to raise so much more in funding just to, you know, to really achieve the goals that they're trying to do. So I can imagine how tough it is for anybody new coming into the space. So when we invest in the teams that have been established, there, there's not going to be a lot of these projects, unfortunately, around at this time next year because whether the market continues to go down even further uh and they don't have funding, um you know height wears out whatever it may be um so, so for me it's it's definitely to make sure that you have some stuff like would right you can dollar cost average as the market to do its thing i still think, think there's good off anything ada for me under 50 cents i'm still i mean i would be kicking myself a year ago had a, you know hey why didn't aren't you buying in at that price like i was buying in at a dollar 40 I'll ask you, you know, and I was happy with that. So in the long term thing of things, I, I plan to be here for, you know, the next 10 years. So the prices right now are a fire sale to me. Um, but for projects, I, I'm, I'm in the opposite boat of where I'm trying to sell a lot of stuff off that I don't think is going to make it through this time and then reinvesting some of that ADA into the ones that I do, because I do believe there's a big run eventually happening for them. Um, okay, so what so I hear what Saran's you... saying, I hear what Saran's saying as far as going to the bottom, you know, everything's going to dump a little bit more, which is fine. And, and I agree, I'm not arguing that at all. I know that's going to happen. So for me, that's where my dollar cost average goes in. And then for anything else, as far as the CNFT stuff, is have a little bit of liquid for when those projects gets hit harder, prices go down, and you can scoop up some good deals in that short term for each side. Okay, so yeah, so you've made a distinction here, Tommy, uh, of, of saying, hey, I'm, I'm actually liquidating some of the projects that I don't think are going to make it into projects that I think are going to make it. Uh, so you are semi agreeing with uh, Saran, but you are more still on the other side. Like, hey, I'm still accumulating ADA. I was accumulating ADA at $1.50. fifty. I'll still continue to do that, and I'm happy about that. Um, I'm just kind of summarize and encapsulate what you're saying. J Crypto Minded says this, and I want to send this comment to Bourbon and to Tommy specifically, and, and to Warden actually. No guarantee these projects will survive a fifty percent dump. <laughs> Did I want to just make ADA go to forty two cents. Just <laughs> I, like I want. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, guys. Okay, okay. Dollar cost Yo, Let's go. Keep it going. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's, that's rough. That's no, I, I would ask I Bourbon that, though. I would ask Bourbon I that, ask... though, for somebody having their own project. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's How right. do you feel that's about right. that with, like, the markets getting, you know, scarier and scarier? How does that work for you guys long-term funding? Because, luckily, like you said you guys minted out when things were doing a little bit better. But still, I can imagine, like, the some of the struggles that can be. So, I mean, we minted out at uh, ADA is at 48 cents, so not much different than what it is right now. Oh, true, so, yeah. Um, so it's, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I haven't been too worried about it just because we don't really have that much overhead. You know, I'm the artist, I'm the founder, you know, everything is, is from my hand, it's my creativity. I don't, have to hire, I don't have to hire, you know, an artist to do anything. I don't have to hire someone to do this or that. You know, I built the website. We we have a great community. We, we've raised pretty much from our community, our, our writers and our, and our storytellers. So. We've done a lot of things in-house and don't really have much overhead. So if, if Ada does drop the 20 cents, you know, we're still here, still working, still building. So 
um it's not gonna affect us the long term that's good so yeah are, so are you saying like because you have such it's a passion project and because you are uh you, there isn't a lot that was hired out that you're doing everything internally that you don't care about what the market's doing you're just going to keep on creating keep on running your community exactly i mean at the end of the day you, you'll see a lot of projects they'll have you know multiple people a huge team they have to have you know they have someone doing the website they have someone doing this they'll have someone doing that you know paying an artist um so we'll have a lot that goes on with them but this is it just you know at the end of the day if, if a to hit down to 10 cents you know i could you know really dig deep and you know do everything myself but that'd be it would be you know the worst thing in the world i would love i want my team there so um but at the end of the day um we'd still be there now, I'm, I'm like guys just so you know uh, what's happening in the chat is very it's it's, it's unique i think in, in the cow is a crypto channel is that if i go into like these other cnft spaces i'm not going to name them but uh there's a lot of cnft people maxis in there on on here we're coming me and saran are coming from a space from swapping coins and we're looking at macro investments so there's there's a mixture of people with different opinions here J Crypto Minded says this, how do you pay your bills as a company with a 50% dump? That's a fair question. And I'm curious about the answer as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, um, thankfully my team members, you know, are, you know, paid in, in focusing on ADA. And I really, we're not really focused on the, you know, the dollar cost of it. It's just ADA, one ADA is one ADA. Um, and essentially, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm work, pretty much just paying myself at, at, at the end of the day, you know, I have, you know, I have expenses, I have, you know, you know, server expenses for website and things like that. But at the end of the day, um, you know, just, just doing the, doing my reserves smart and doing everything properly, um, just to make sure, you know, it lasts at the end of the day. Um, you know, there's different opportunities, ways, ways to gain, gain revenue other than just like minting and things like yeah. that as well. So, you know, there's other, op other opportunities. Yeah, go ahead, Saran. See, the thing is like, he's saying like, like from from what I'm hearing from him, it sounds like, all right, he's edged out a way where he will continue through this 50% dump. But you got to think of companies like people when the re the reason why some people like remain poor, the oldest rich dad poor dad, <laughs> is that like as, yeah, their, as their revenue increases, their cost of living increases and companies do the same thing as their share prices increase and stuff like that or or their ADA price increase. They're like, oh, let's hire more people. This, that, 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 that. And all these overhead costs pile up. 50% dump happens. They can't support that. How, how, yeah, like, how not just lay people off, but you got to think of the people in this space. Do they really have that business mindset? Like, yo, we need to do a quick pivot. Only those people who do like those real quick pivots and lay people off, let this stuff go are really are the projects that are going to survive. I feel like yeah, too, I, if you're I, a project I, though, I, minting. I personally don't think a lot of those people exist in this space. Every I, single day I, you're I, seeing like, yo, fake CEO down for this space buds, fake this, you know, like, I, like, I, I just don't I, think like those type of people exist in this space and that's just, I'm, I'm honest. i i was gonna are say, they I was there gonna, they're yes, probably there's business the minded people out there and i would i would argue to some people like right like there's definitely gonna be the people who are like 20 something year olds or even you know in their young 30s starting this out they jumped on the nft craze they made some money and did their thing but didn't really have a long-term plan right and those are the ones we see that kind of come in and go out uh, then there's the others. Hopefully, if these guys have you know set a good margin and a goal for their mint price, they've obviously taken into account if they've been in this crypto market. Hey, things are going to get a little bit worse here, so we need to be able to ride out this wave. Hopefully, we've got enough funding from the mint price enough to be able to run a year, two years, whatever it may be for their goals that they're trying to do with the project until they can release whatever the next thing is or find a way to give utility that increases the project's overall value. Um, so again, you're going to see people who have good business minds and have a long-term plan are going to be those ones. That's always we say, invest in good teams, because that's going to be the things that get these people through this bear market right now. Yeah, I I, th I think you're right. I think um, the, the biggest, uh, most established teams will make it through the bear market. However, J Crypto Mind again. I, I mean, like this one I'm talking about the chat really need the really brings the the, the comments here, but that's only you, uh, Bourbon. How does OpenSea survive and and these top projects manage to survive? And I'm not going to say just OpenSea, but like, but yeah, but more like, hey, look, Clay Nations. I'm not sure how top heavy they are. Yummy. I'm sure they have a lot of developers on there. Like cornucopias. How, how did these guys who are the top level like your boots job right right but these guys for sure they are paying a whole bunch of people out and if they're saying 
if you're saying one ADA equals one ADA, I get that on a small scale that might work because everyone's like part time or you got real jobs like that. But there are developers out there who this is it, and their one ADA turned into. If we hate inflation, we should hate uh, the 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 dollar, the, the value shrinking from our pockets, and that's exactly what's happening here. Um, just this is more macro, not for you, Bourbon, uh, not specifically for Ada Knots, but like macro. How do these top projects survive? Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of them that are going to fail. I mean, at the end, of the day, it's, it's straight out. They're going to they're going to they're going to fail. They, they needed some funding. They needed the income to do certain things. And um, at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen. I mean, that's happened throughout all the history. You know, businesses, different economies, different things like that that try to raise up and didn't they failed and the ones that were stronger and, and figure out the right path to survive. Um, you know, how do you, you know, how do you, as a, as a big brand or big company, how do you figure that out? At, at, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully you, you started figuring out months ago and trying to figure out like a, like a strategic game plan or, you know, uh, a plan, you know, to, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, Hey, does do projects have an end goal? Like, what is your end goal? Like things like that. Do you have like a game plan, a business plan? Like if you don't, and you're just kind of going willy nilly and just being like, Hey, we'll split the profit this way. And we'll just kind of see what happens, you know? There's, you know, things probably are not going to be too great, you know, without a plan. I mean, this is what happening with uh, with Meta, with Google. I mean, all these guys, they're actually laying off people. Uh, yeah. uh, Coinbase, these guys are laying off. But Eddie Z mm -hmm. brings up a funny uh, question here. Not funny, maybe it's real. Could projects go into hibernation? I feel a crash is imminent. I think that's a shared thing that I feel at least, and I know Saran does. But if that happens and they hibernate, will the co community still be there? When the bull market comes back and wake up, is can can projects? Tao will be there if they don't tweet in a, in oh. two days. Tao's out. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough in this market, man. I, I don't know because people want that instant satisfaction. They want some yeah. sort of communication from your team. And I mean, to be fair, in this day and age, right? If you invest your money in something, you want to know those people at least have something going on in the background. You don't want to say, "Hey guys, we'll be back in about a half a year from now when everything kind of shakes out." Catch you then. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna just leave my money there. You know, I don't. That doesn't make me feel very confident as an investor. So I don't think that's the route to go. And even if you don't have much to say, a weekly update, a month, you know, every couple weeks, biweekly, something to tell people. Here's what we've been working on. Here's where we're seeing things go, and giving you that detailed plan is what's gonna help that out. Um, and then I've seen uh, somebody like a J Crypto minded over in the chat as well. Why buy now? Um, there's still opportunity. Like I said, just because we're in a tough market right now doesn't mean there isn't opportunity to be for things to be made. You've seen it recently in some big projects, uh, some teams that have been building over this long time. So it's not that money can't be made in this time period. It's just you need to have a lot more research. You need to have a lot more conviction in the teams and do more, you know, just overall digging into projects that really do have the teams, do have the plan and do have that long term vision um, in this market. Yeah, I think TJ, uh, and I'm gonna cover the three comments here. The world's F recession to come, all markets will still drop. Still good opportunities now though. Have to remember ADA is down 85% uh, from, and will be even better uh, one soon too. Uh, this one was funny, Jay Bird says this, false Saran, everything is in the toilet. It may, uh, may or may not go deeper, but those who have been in all time highs would be foolish to sell now, especially if the money is being invested in all time highs. Do you have a reply to that? Yeah. It goes back to our BSC pad conversation. I mean, sell now so you can recoup your loss in a better position. If you okay. want to rebuy, just sell it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I think I want to bring in Donna's, and then we're going to close with this and give me your last thoughts on here. Uh, she actually, in an earlier comment, I didn't see it. I couldn't find it. But she says, hey, the, everyone's got their own investing strategy. And I think that's never been more clear than in this <laughs> chat here, but she yeah. says, it just depends on your risk mitigation. There are so many factors on micro and macro economics. At the end of the day, it's up to you as the investor to be well-informed and for influencers to educate people. And I think that's right. And I think at some level, we are all at I'm least- I'm literally just trying influence. not for people to piss their money in the toilet and understand what's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it, it's really just about, go ahead, Saron, you got it. Jay Crypto has a question. Is this our first bear market? I'm gonna be open and honest with you, no. 2017, when I saw everything fall down to the toilet, I sold everything else. The difference between 2017 and now is I like to think I have like a bigger mentorship behind me and I'm more well-educated on what the market truly means. Because I was one of those people who I'm literally warning right now that who like over leveraged 2017, yeah, like went too far in 
and the market started crashing and I literally had no choice but to sell everything. So boom, boom, boom. And I was gonna say, you're very, oh, go ahead. No, you got it, Tommy. I, I'll, I'll just I hit it right after you. Your, your bear market of old is not the bear market of today. Um, well, this bear market is worse because it's coupled with an economic recession. <laughs> Oh, oh, 100%. The Fikers, the, yeah, the, that's a big factor. Not not to get that wrong, but I'm saying as far as the crypto uh, thing goes, we're a lot more educated. We've had the uh, last four years to kind of understand, learn some patterns. Um, I mean, I was back in 2017 just buying with the hope, hopium that everything was going to go to the moon and got a harsh reality check back in 2018. Um, so I don't think the bear markets will have as much of a, a hurt in us, but the recession part is going to definitely impact that, especially along with the government. So that is a very important thing, like you guys are saying, to pay attention to, because that can have a big factor on uh, the overall crypto market and all markets in general, as we're seeing. Got it. Easy. Uh, I mean, just the, the two biggest things that really, I believe, in, uh, affect your investing strategy, it really just depends on the people that you have around you and then your experiences. I mean, it, it really just depends on how long you've been in the space, how long you've been in the market, how you've seen it move in the past. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it really just, it, it's just, mm, mm, ah, it's really just about like everybody around you only because these people have had these experiences and they're able to help you just inform you, especially like for newer investors or people who've never experienced a bull run. Like for me, as an example, all, all I've known is this bear market and I'm super excited to see a bull run one of these years, but that's okay. It, it'll come eventually. Man, <laughs> you, are, you are a child of the winter. Yeah, yes, this yes, is, yes. Yo, big child, big child. I'm a child. Hey, yo, of change that man's summer. name from the warden to the ice prince, bro. That man is in this group of winter. <laughs> this man was born above the war. It's warden of the north. Yeah, the north. That's right. The yeah, he's the, the true north. king of the north, yo, baby. The true king, king of the north. Warden of the yo, north. Yo, that's the I mean, ice prince, baby. Just. At, at the end of the day, though, I am majority in stablecoin at the moment, but I'm loving everything being down I, because at the end of the day, you're going to make money in a bull run no matter what you put your money into eventually when you decide you're going to put your money into. You will make money during a bull run. Yeah, I agree with that. I think um, for me, my, my personal experience was this, is that I, I learned in the past year that the Fed is in hyper control of the markets. I, I just, this is my, this is my big takeaway of 2022 that any monkey could have thrown money into any project, any real estate, anything, any stock for the last 14 years and made money until this year where nobody called it. Everyone got hurt. Everyone got hit. So we got to learn our lessons. There's a project for everyone. There's an investing strategy for everyone. Money gets made with bears. Money gets made with bulls, but hogs get slaughtered. And so don't be greedy, guys. Stay safe out there. Big ups to the chat, guys. Really um, giving us a lot of fodder. And yeah, they're, they're uh, giving us the sure. work, bro. They're really yeah. making sure. Yeah. At, like, one point, really at one point, point, it was hugs, and the next time it was pitchforks. And <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we love it though. So, I mean, we love yeah. interacting with the chat. We love you guys. So, big up. Yeah, to you. yeah. Guys, really quick, uh, join uh, or follow Twitter's uh, on, sorry, follow Ethan on Crypto Warden on his Twitter, Bandit on Twitter, Tommy join their, uh, the, the the YouTube uh, and Twitter, and, and and of course, Bourbon with Ada Knots. Check out Ada Knots if it's something for you. Bourbon, I want to give you the last say here. Whatever you want to say on on anything what we talked about today, you could shill Ada Knots if you want. You could talk about the market. Um, I know we were kind of loud, but uh, I want to hear your voice as the last sweet, supple voice before I go to bed here. Absolutely. Well, one thing I, I want to mention a little bit on the, uh, someone mentioned a comment, can, can uh, projects hibernate during this time and survive later? And I'm going to disagree with that. They can't really hibernate. They need to be doing things. Um, one thing we, we've noticed um, with a lot of projects on all blockchains is that uh, strong founders definitely make a difference. Founders where you're able to reach out to them, engage with them. They're in spaces all the time. You look at you look at Wab coming into here right now. He's the founder of Sappy Seals and, and blowing things up. You look at Frank over at DGod. You look at Ponzerati at Dave Society. You look at these founders who are out there in the community, working in the community, engaging with them. I think that's super, super important and super needed for a lot of these projects. And that doesn't cost any money. That's just time for those founders who are already dedicating their time to those projects. So uh, definitely uh, hibernation is not a thing. You know, get on Twitter, shit post, ha and have fun. Enjoy, enjoy your community. Be with them and embrace them and, and engage with them on Twitter. Yeah. I appreciate that, Bourbon. I know that the Ada Knots community appreciates you as well. Uh, guys, be sure to check out Ada Knots on JPEG Store, on Twitter, on all their stuff. J join the discords. Uh, Freedom35, thank you so much, T-O-M-M-Y. We'll be seeing you soon. We'll be seeing all you guys soon. For sure, uh, in, Vegas, guys. Vegas. Guys, yep. soon, Baby, Boo, in Vegas. Sir. Soon, man. Baby. Thanks for the stream. Get out. Guys, <laughs> thanks for the